Casemiro's departure from Manchester United is set to be agreed in a meeting with club chiefs after the Brazilian was left hurt by Eric Ten Hag's decision to drop him. The former Real Madrid midfielder, 32, was originally named among the Red Devils substitutes for their 2-1 FA Cup final triumph over Manchester City, before he was replaced by Willy Camboala prior to kickoff. Casemiro then skipped Man UTD's after-party as he jetted straight off on holiday. Now, according to Goal, he is preparing for a sit-down with club chiefs that is expected to end with them wanting to go their separate ways. Saudi Arabian clubs Al Ali and Al Qasidiyah are leading the way to sign the five-time Champions League winner. Cristiano Ronaldo's Al Nasser are also said to be in the frame. Read more on Man Utdinjuryo moment Man Utd's McTominay appears to struggle with injury on holiday by Paul Eurovision player bracket challenge game for free ahead of this summer's Euros. Man United believe they can get £30 million for the man who joined for £70 million just two years ago. However, the Saudi clubs feel they can clinch a deal for less, but could still increase his wages from the lucrative £350,000 he is already on. Eric Ten Hag, who is also expected to leave Old Trafford this summer, is said to have hurt Casemiro by leaving him out of his squad at Wembley. Justifying the decision, the Dutch coach said, Cass is not 100%. Most read in football ENZ game Chelsea reach agreement to hire Maresca with Leicester boss handed mega contract Cal of Duty Calvin Phillips offered Premier League transfer lifeline away from Man City Ten Hag latest Man United consider manager U-turn, Pochettino talks, Marshall set to LEAVEOUT of season Premier League clubs are trying to shift away from season tickets best free bet sign up offers for UK bookmakers also we want in that space around Phil Foden, we need a strong defence. Casemiro is the highest paid player on Man UTD's books. Jamie Carragher tells Casemiro, this needs to stop, and Man United flop needs to quit club after Crystal Palace horror show but recent displays have come under huge criticism at the end of a dismal campaign for the South American star. Liverpool icon Jamie Carragher recently claimed after a shambolic performance in a 4-0 defeat to Crystal Palace that Casemiro needs to leave European football and move to either Saudi or the MLS. Sun Sports verdict on Man United flop Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos have a busy summer ahead to get Man UTD squad in order for next season. Below Sun Sport gives it verdict on how they should deal with the Red Devils flops this summer. Andre Onana. Stay. After a dodgy start at Old Trafford Onana has proven to be one of the more reliable members of the squad this season despite being peppered with shots constantly. Altai Bayandir. Go. Reports in February suggested Bayendir was unhappy with his bit part role at Man United amid interest from Turkish giants Galatasaray. If profit can be made on a sale then it should be done. Tom Heaton, stay, veteran goalkeeper Heaton, 38, is a reliable backup and is on a relatively small wage at the club. So long as he is happy it makes sense to keep him. Aaron Juan Bissaka, go. Juan Bissaka, 26, has never managed to make the right back position his own.
With his contract up in 2025, it makes sense to cash in now. Diogo Delot, stay. Delot, 26, has been one of Man UTD's most consistent performers this season. Rafael Varane, go. If it wasn't for his injury record there would be a strong shout to keep Varane, but costs need to be cut to allow the squad to be freshened up. Harry Maguire, go. Maguire has showed he has the right character to be at Man United, but overall ability and desired profile are another matter, with Maguire too slow to play in a high-line defence. Lisandro Martinez, stay. Martinez, 26, is second to none in terms of build-up play. He needs a long-term defensive partner on the right side and to cut out the injuries which have plagued him this season. Johnny Evans, go. Veteran campaigner Evans could easily be on the stay list if he was only going to be a bit part player. But he has shown his advanced years at times this season. Victor Lindelof, go. Lindelof, 29, has been reliable if not unremarkable in his Man United career. He has one year left on his contract so should be moved on if a decent transfer fee can be got for him. Willy Camboala, stay. He should be given the opportunity to mature for a few years behind a senior CB pairing before stepping into the first team as a starter or being moved on. Luke Shaw, go. One of the Premier League's best left-backs when fit, Shaw has been a good servant when available. But alas that has been his Achilles heel once again this season. Terrell Malaysia, stay, Malaysia, 24, was decent enough to earn some merit in his first season at Man United before injury ended his season and inadvertently led to his second season being a write-off. Sifian Amrabat, go. Amrabat, 27, looked like a world beater at the Qatar World Cup with Morocco. But HS had an underwhelming season in England and his loan spell will almost certainly not be made permanent. Casemiro, go. An alarming physical decline has seen him turn from key star to burden. If a club is willing to buy the 32-year-old, who has two more years on his contract, then United should snatch their hand off. Christian Eriksen, go. Eriksen proved a useful asset and Ineos should look to bring in another player with similar traits, but frankly his legs have looked gone towards the end of this season. Kobe Mainu, stay. The first of the so-called untouchables, Mainu has been a rare glimmer of hope in the Red Devils midfield this season. Mason Mount, stay. Mount can be given the benefit of the doubt until summer 2025 at least after a debut season riddled with injury. Scott McTominay, stay. McTominay, 27, has proven himself to be a brilliant plan B off the bench this season, and that is exactly why Ineos should look to keep him. Bruno Fernandes, stay, Man UTD's best player since his arrival just over four years ago, Fernandes, 29, remains second to none when it comes to creating chances while his tenacity boosts those around him.
Anthony, go. There's a case to argue that Anthony may be the worst pound-for-pound -pound signing in Premier League history. Despite some memorable moments he simply isn't Man United quality. Anthony Marshall, go. Ultimately Marshall needs to be let go when his deal runs out this summer after an appalling injury record of late. Marcus Rashford, stay. As easy as it would be to say Rashford should leave the club this summer, it is difficult to look at the market and find many available players capable of scoring 30 goals a season. Alejandro Garnacho, stay. Another third of the untouchables trio, Garnacho has made the right wing his own since coming into it. H is a raw talent but has shown he has the quality to improve. Rasmus Hodgland, stay. A slow burner in his first Man United season, the 21-year-old has often been starved of supply which has led to him being unable to get the goals his movement and unselfish play often merits. Ahmed Diallo, stay. In the fleeting moments he has been on the pitch for Man United this season, Diallo has looked dangerous and exciting. He should be given a chance to flourish with some proper chances in the first team across a whole season.